If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name is Obi, and welcome back to Courtside Financial, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about some innovations happening or happening around battery technology uh, for our esteemed Neo investors and enthusiasts that watch this channel. So this is going to be a super interesting video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, click the notification bell icon. All your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. So back in 2016, Tesla did something really amazing with their batteries, which is what they call C to C, cell to chassis. It's like giving a battery a front row seat in the car structure. Who knew this move would become a hot topic, especially for one of our favorite companies, Neo. So why is everyone talking about cell to chassis right now? Well, the traditional ways of setting up batteries like module to pack had a problem. They weren't using the space uh, most efficiently. Imagine having all this potential, but you're only using 40% of it. Enter CTC, aiming to use the space better, make batteries more efficient, meaning they last longer, and of course, cut cost. A company named NASA's CTO, Zhang Yang, offered his two cents. CTC is cool for saving companies money, but they don't do much for the users. So on the strength of what he said, let's dive into what CTC can actually mean for the industry. CTC is basically like giving the battery a VIP pass. It's either tucked into the chassis or it's connected to the car's structure. Lei Pao's model, the CL1 for example, used this technology to increase its body space, boost car capacity, and extend battery life. It's like a power up for all electric cars. But wait, there's more um, options here. There's CTP and C CTB. These are all just different routes to the same cool destination. They're all about uh, simplifying battery structure and making things more efficient. It's like giving the battery a makeover. This kind of thing is can, you can think about as like a glow up. Now let's talk real talk. Is CTC the end all be all for batteries? Well, not exactly. While it's a big deal now, history tells us that materials are also going to play a huge role. So we're still on the lookout for the next battery material breakout. And that could even take us further. But you know how it is, every superhero has their kryptonite. CTC even has its own limits. Some worry about battery re replacement and higher maintenance costs. It's like if your car hugs a tree too hard, the battery might need a replacement. And that could of course boost the cost even more. Also, things are shaking up in the competition game. Car companies and battery manufacturers, as we discussed on this channel, are definitely stepping on each other's toes right now. Especially with CTC and CTP. It's like a friendly rivalry, but it could change the game for all the battery pack companies out there. To sum it up, while we wait for the next battery breakthrough, CTC and its peers are running the game. And guess what? Chinese car companies like NIO are owning the game in both materials and structure. No more playing catch up. They're trailblazers now. Thanks for tuning in to another insightful episode of the Courtside Financial Podcast. If you found this um, entertaining, interesting um or insightful make sure you leave a comment down below i would love to know what you guys think about the battery industry moving forward and how that's going to affect you anyways that's it for this one i'll catch you guys in the next one bye have a good weekend